Welcome to the National Weather Service Spokane, Washington Weekly Weather Briefing. My name is Stephen Van Horn and I'll be covering the expected weather for the upcoming week, Tuesday, January 22nd through Monday, January 28, 2013. Since forecasts are subject to change, please do not use this presentation after 6 a.m. Wednesday, January 23rd. We will be expecting a change in the weather pattern for Wednesday as high pressure is broken down by a fast-moving low-pressure system. This system will generate widespread valley snowfall across much of the region. There will be a short break in the precipitation on Thursday with some lingering snow showers into the Idaho Panhandle, but more wet weather will bring a mixture of rain and snow to the valleys this weekend. Temperatures are expected to remain near seasonal average next week. The snow showers will continue to be a possibility along the Cascade Crest and into the Idaho Panhandle. Looking at the satellite picture from this morning, we can see the next low pressure system set to push in across the region for Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. Moisture out ahead of the cold front, the green and white shaded area, is beginning to move in over the region from the west to the east. This moisture is already beginning to generate some high cloud cover at the moment and will take some time to moisten the atmosphere from the top down before we begin to see snowfall in the valleys. This image is a current or showing where the current model guidance suggests the uh, best chances for um, moisture or for uh, fog and stratus formation here in the shaded area. This uh, can result into some patchy dense fog with visibilities of a quarter mile or less possible tonight. With sub-freezing temperatures in place, we may see some slick road conditions where dense fog forms. As we go into Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening, this image here is showing the storm total snowfall expected from the weather system that will be moving in through this time interval. A general 1 to 3 inches is expected for most valley locations but accumulations are expected to be a bit higher in the central panhandle where 3 to 5 inches will be possible and up along the Cascade Crest. Heavy snowfall will be possible over the mountain passes over Stevens Pass or including Stevens Pass, over 4th of July Pass, and over Lookout Pass where the heaviest accumulations are expected. Some forecaster notes for this system. It will be a fairly short duration event as uh, moisture will initially go into moistening the atmosphere. Uh, in general about four to six hours of snow is, is expected but moderate accumulations or moderately heavy snowfall will be possible at times. The time for the snowfall is going to be mainly between 3 and 11 p.m. on Wednesday. Uh, depending on the start time, it will make a big difference on the, on the evening commute and if pavement temperatures are above freezing when snow uh, begins to fall, this can result in some melting and possibly some ice um, as it refreezes tomorrow night. Showers will continue over the Idaho Panhandle as well as the cold front pushes through on Wednesday evening. Our confidence is above average. The areas where we have some less confidence will be over the Pullman and Pullman areas where snow levels will be closer to the um, rain-snow transition. If the system arrives quicker than expected the evening, compute, the evening commute may be quite treacherous where uh, snow accumulations will have already been um, starting before uh, people start driving home from work. We will see a brief uh, break in the precipitation on Thursday before the next weather system begins to impact the region on Friday. This graphic, or this, fe this system, will feature a subtropical moisture fetch shown in the graphic above or shown in this graphic. This will likely result in a longer duration event than what we'll see on Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday evening with snow levels rising into Saturday. The rising snow levels will result in rain for the valleys or a mixture of rain and snow 
across the southern portions of the region with this transition with this transition of rain to snow occurring from south to north confidence is growing in a large scale feature or in the large scale features of the system but the specifics on snow levels and snow accumulation still remain fairly uncertain at the time of this briefing This low pressure trough will push over the region Saturday into Sunday and will have the effect of dropping snow levels as it does so. The best moisture tap will be shunted to the southeast, but showers will continue to be possible through this period, especially into the Idaho Panhandle. Snow levels will drop back down to valley floors during this time, so areas that may have transitioned over to rain on Saturday may begin to see some snow showers as we go into Sunday as snow levels drop. This graphic shows a snow level forecast for Saturday. Snow levels will be on the rise Friday into Saturday as warm air, warm and moist air pushes into the region. We're expecting these snow levels to be up around 1,500 feet over the Waterville Plateau to around 3,000 feet into the Idaho Panhandle. However, there is still some uncertainty with these snow levels. Our snow levels are more reflective of the GFS model, but the European model does show that snow levels could be as high as 4,500 feet in the central panhandle. This uncertainty in the snow levels makes for a more uncertain snow or snowfall forecast. We are in general calling for snow beginning over much of the region Friday or Friday night and transitioning to rain or a mix of rain and snow in the valleys from south to north. Once the low pressure trough then shifts uh, over the region Saturday and Sunday, these snow levels will be dropping back down to valley floors um, by the time we get into Sunday into early next week. As we go into next week, the uh, weather pattern will be dominated by a broad uh, northwest uh, flow pattern with colder, colder, polar, uh, colder polar continental air over Canada and warmer maritime polar air to our southwest south, uh, over the Pacific. Precipitation in this flow pattern generally favors the Cascade Crest and the Idaho Panhandle where orographics generally play a bigger role. These areas are highlighted in the green shade on the map. Snow levels are expected to remain low below the mountain passes but will vary as weather systems ride across the area through this northwest flow pattern. Expect precipitation to start out as snow with each system with the possibility of changing over to rain depending on how much of this warm air off the Pacific gets br brought into the region. Our 8 to 14 day outlook provided by the Climate Prediction Center shows no clear signal for above or below average temperatures across the region. For precipitation there is a, um, a slightly or a better chance of, of above average precipitation across the Idaho Panhandle or generally across the northeast portions of the region. In summary, we will see a pattern shift beginning Wednesday as chances for snow will increase into Wednesday evening. This system will bring a general 1 to 3 inches for most valley locations. However, heavier accumulations will be possible in the central Panhandle Mountains where heavy snowfall will, will be possible through Wednesday night. We will see a short break on Thursday before another, another weather system moves through on Friday and Saturday. This system will be a bit warmer and likely contain a bit more moisture. This will result in rising snow levels through Saturday and snow transitioning from, rain, from snow to rain from, from the south. Snow showers will continue into early next week as an active weather pattern will continue through the uh, into next week with best chances of precipitation across the Cascade Crest and into the Idaho Panhandle. Temperatures in general next week will remain near normal. That is it for the weather briefing for this week. This is how you can stay informed and get the latest information from the National Weather Service at the Spokane Forecast Office. 
Our forecasts and various winter weather products are available on our website at weather.gov slash Spokane. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our subscribe to us on, on YouTube. And as always, you can listen to us on NOAA Weather Radio. Thank you for tuning in for the uh, weekly weather briefing, and we will have another one next week.